Aloha, welcome back, Reverend Dr. Glenn. So, only two more to go. Now we're into the outermost sphere, the the fully transcendent sphere. You know, vision, uh, visual navigation of the space, and the social navigation of of our social space was this intermediate sphere uh, around the heart as the the, the core, and then the, the central sphere of of, of uh, our, our thinking and and movement. Uh, but now we're in the outermost sphere. It's like that bubble around us. If you picture, you know, the the uh, picture of the human standing there with the arms out, and in this position, this position, there's like a it, it, it inscribes a sphere. We're, we're, if we move our hands around, we're inside this bubble, this space, this sphere of our body, and we can locomote and move that sphere to another place. Or, you know, we're portable bits of earth, having this experience. Um, but in the outermost sphere, we're cosmic citizens, we're cosmic beings. We have awareness of not only the, the, the realms of visual space out to the stars, but <clears throat> that we are a living sentient being, a, cell, a cellular being that's a cell in the divine body. We are literally, you and I, two cells in one body. We both experience, just like two cells in your body right now are experiencing that same relationship of being, sharing space in one body that's living and sentient and, and fully coherent self with self. So we want to experience that level of, of awareness, of awareness of our, our transcendent nature, that who you are is well, is more now than who you were a year ago or two years ago, and that was more than who you were when you were born, that was more than you were when you were conceived, and yet you're who you are still, same you that was conceived, but the fullness of your nature is who you are becoming, your future self, I call it. So your future self, if you're an immortal being, if, you're, if the experiential part, the soul, the spirit is immortal, and we continue to experience and continue to expand and grow by our nature, by our fractal cellular nature as part of this living universe that's doing exactly that, we're doing it as part of that, then your future self is who you're becoming. That's your greatest self. That's your higher self. Your, your, uh, I like to think of, of, of your future self that's transcended of time is, is who incarnated uh, when you were conceived. Uh, and it's who is your companion and guide, your spirit guide, your, your, uh, you know, your guardian angel is you, is your future self. Who better than that aspect of you that's the fullness of you? You know, without any of, of the limitations that we experience in the contingencies of the biological experience. So we can open in the heart, we can open and invite that future self to be present. We can focus the mind on opening, and this is through the, the, the crown chakra, of opening that connection to the divine. You know, uh, research on, on inter personal communication uh, without any kind of overt, you know, measurable messaging, but messaging through the dark energy of consciousness. Uh, the studies, uh, hundreds of studies on, on this type of, of psychic research shows that at a particular time of cos the cosmic day, sidereal noon, when the, co the center of the galaxy is directly, as, as close as possible, directly overhead, that there is zero psychic ability. That humanity cannot communicate with each other at that time. There's a vertical connection in my model. That's when we're most tuned into our cosmic nature. Perfect time to do a little uh, meditation. Any time is perfect uh, when you choose it. But uh, it's interesting that there is that cosmically perfect time as well. Uh, and you know, maybe if we can organize uh, our, an intention to 
uh, we can actually organize our angelic nature to carry out our intention to honor and observe that that music of the spheres that we are a part of a part of that symphony and to be constantly always you know when our small ego mind our past development developmental and, and damaged mind you know forgets and gets too stressed and small that by asking explicitly telling the angels of our higher nature the angel of all, angels of all nature because we have that fractal divine quality that that we can instruct creation to do our our will as long as it's div- aligned perfectly with divine will then that's the perfect uh perfect expression of of uh, what we're going to talk about in the, in the next and final level of this course of, of manifestation. We can instruct nature to manifest for us. And here I'm um, suggesting the instruction to manifest our, our alignment, our, our full transcendent orientation to our divine nature at all times in all spaces, you know, with uh, beyond our the limits of our ability, but corrected by the, our, our, our future self, our, our higher nature, our guardian angels, by uh, angels of, of the divine.